Welcome to the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency Video News Podcast, bringing you the latest stories from around the UK's coasts. Sikorsky S-92 helicopters are now being used by the UK Coast Guard under contract for search and rescue in Scotland. The Coast Guard has been using S-92s since 2007, and they're proving to be fast, reliable and advanced. Crew members talk about the extreme conditions in which these helicopters can operate, about their accurate instrumentation, and about how the S-92s have helped them improve operations. The S-92 offers significant advances over the old Seeking or the old S-61, which we used to use here in Stornoway. The aircraft is faster, it offers greater performance, and it can operate in uh, more extreme conditions. What that means for the casualty is that the S-92 will get to them quicker, it has a greater chance of getting to them because of the systems it has on board, and being a more modern and a more advanced helicopter, it offers significant advances in reliability. The other operational improvements that the S-92 has over the old aircraft includes a RIPS de-icing system. What this means is that the aircraft can fly in more extreme weather conditions, higher and faster than the previous aircraft. Anybody that's lived or worked in uh, Scotland will know the difficulties in winter of flying in bad weather conditions. In the old aircraft, we used to have to fly around the whole of the north of Scotland to take a casualty from Stornoway to Inverness. With this aircraft, with its de-icing system, we can fly up to 8,000 feet in up to minus 40 degrees Celsius, direct from Stornoway to Ragmore. That's an improvement for the casualty, and it certainly makes our life easier. Well, the main enha- enhancements you can see is we've got the, the ramp at the back of the aircraft, which makes it more accessible to get stretchers, um, medical cases, especially hospital hospital transfers and all their kit into the back of the aircraft rather than try and get them through a door or lift them up. The other enhancements are mostly inside the aircraft for the uh, rear crew, uh, one being the stretcher station at Stealth, um, inside the, the mission system console, which uh, comprises of a, a move and map system, which is GPS based, and we've also got the FLIR screen, forward looking infrared, which has got a video camera as well. The S92 has a glass cockpit which is fed by modern electronic instruments. These instruments are more reliable, more accurate and offer greater redundancy than the previous mechanical instruments that are in the Seeking. In the event of component failure on one side of the aircraft, the pilot can easily switch across to the instrumentation on the other side of the aircraft, thereby losing no instruments whatsoever. This aircraft, like the S61, has a dual hoist system. The current military Seekings only have a single hoist. The dual hoist system was developed by the Coast Guard aircraft about 10 years ago. This was a direct result of a tragedy which occurred up in Shetland when one of our crewmen lost his life. The dual hoist system offers redundancy. What that means is that if a hoist was to fail or a cable was to get snagged whilst alongside a vessel, the secondary hoist can be used to recover both the casualty and our crewmen. I started flying search and rescue here in Stornoway in the early 90s in an old seeking variant. I've now been flying the S92 for three years. There's no doubt about it, this aircraft offers a significant operational improvement to the previous aircraft. It's great and it's the future of search and rescue. Watch out for more S92 search and rescue helicopters around the UK coast.